Howdy folks, let's take a look at some wheel guns. Some days you feel like a semi-automatic, and other days you want a good old revolver. This is uh, my first revolver. It's the Smith & Wesson 520. First of all, let's be a little safe. Let's check to make sure that's unloaded. Alright. Uh, yep, we're good to go. What makes this the 520? Well, first thing you'll notice is the scandium barrel here. Uh, they say scandium is a lighter metal. Uh, but the only thing I've really noticed is that it takes scorch marks a lot worse than other metals, so you'll never fully clean this as well as you'd like it to uh, be cleaned. Uh, also, the 520 comes with the standard high-vis uh, orange sights, uh, these nice walnut grips, um, and uh, adjustable rear sights. If you've ever seen the Smith & Wesson 686, very popular gun, this is essentially the same gun, but a little bit more tweaked. Um, also, you'll notice that this barrel is a 7-shot instead of the 6-shot. Uh, there are some 6.86 uh, 7s, but uh, by far most of them are 6-shot. Uh, great gun, very accurate. Um, uh, it's very comfortable in my hands. Um, unlike the 6.86, you have the wood grips. So if you are actually going to carry this uh, concealed, uh, they don't actually snag on clothes or anything. Uh, I love this gun, uh, but it's a little bit heavy, a little bit bulky for um, for carry. Um, I usually prefer to carry a semi-automatic. That being said, for a backup gun, I do want a revolver. In theory, fewer parts, fewer things can go wrong, so you got to have a revolver. Um, and most folks say that when it comes to revolvers, there's Smith & Wesson and then there's the rest, which is why I have uh, several Smith & Wessons in my collection. Uh, these are two of them. Uh, this is the 637. It's part of that uh, airweight trio, uh, the air ones being the 638 and the 642. Uh, what makes this the 637? Well, first of all, let's be safe. All right. Unloaded. Great. Five shots only. Uh, this was 637 Magnum. This is 38 Specials. Alright, the 637 has the exposed hammer. Uh, for my buddy, I got her the 638, which has a shrouded hammer. That means the frame kind of curves along the contours of the hammer's path, uh, meaning that less chance of the hammer being exposed to catch onto clothes or something like that. For me, not so much of an issue because I carry this um, in an ankle holster most of the time when I'm carrying it. Uh, I know a lot of folks out there, they actually like the 642, which has a hidden hammer. Um, but for me, that's a, that's a bit of a tough trigger there. I want I want single action. I mean, both of these Smithies uh, have um, double action as well as single action. Look at that single action on this. Zero pull. Fantastic. Same here. Single action. Zero pull. Nice. Uh, the barrel on this is one inch and seven eighths. This one is a four inch barrel by comparison. Uh, one inch seven eighths. That's not um, that's not a very accurate barrel. And to help uh, add to the intimidation or the useful factor, I threw on these Laser Max uh, grips. Really like this product. Uh, very happy with it. Has activation buttons on both sides, so it's ambidextrous friendly. As you know, I'm left-handed. Um, and uh, the laser follows the top along the sights, uh, whereas other conventional. Um, forms of the laser, they have it coming underneath the bottom of the barrel, I mean the cylinder, or even around the uh, the trigger guard. Not too crazy about those ideas. I want the laser going along where I'm shooting also. Uh, let me show you how that looks. I have some silicon spray here. Um, first we'll activate it. There you go. Very powerful, very effective laser. Very happy with it. Uh, this is also the gun uh, I was carrying when there was that incident over at Starbucks. Uh, there was a crazy guy uh, making threats, uh, yelling, causing a ruckus. Uh, he tried to fling a chair through a, a window. Fortunately, the police arrived. Uh, they chased him into the woods, and seven of them then hauled him out, uh, trussed up like a like a turkey or something. Um, he was hopped up on drugs, um, and fortunately, because uh, he literally was uh, uh, yelling and spitting in my face pretty much almost, um, I had my hand on... On the gun, I never did draw it, I never did brandish it, uh, since he didn't physically touch me or anything. Um, but uh, I was glad I had it, and I was very glad that I practiced with it uh, from time to time. Alright, 
This is a Ruger Single Six, a different type of revolver. Uh, more of an Old West look to it. Uh, first of all, let's be safe. To do that, we open up the trap. And we rotate the cylinder and inspect for brass each time. Similarly, if we were to unload this, if there was brass, there is a plunger running along the bottom of the barrel. You line it up with a hole in the cylinder, move it back, and spawn some lights. And you'd move this plunger to push all the brass out. Then you'd have to rotate the cylinder again, repeat the process. Slow to load, slow to unload, but a really a fun gun to play with. Um, 22 long rifle. Actually, if you depress this button and pull out this uh, uh, bar, you can actually swap out the cylinder for 22 magnum, making this a little bit more useful. Single action only, but listen to this. It's kind of like what a gun should sound like, you'd think. In fact, you can actually do the uh, that whole western type Hollywood thing. Uh, don't do that at the range. I'm sure the range master wouldn't appreciate that. Um, but this is an incredibly fun, accurate gun to play around with. Being 22 long rifle, you could spend the entire day at the range and not not break a ten dollar bill too much. All right, the last uh, wheel gun we want to look at. Um, I don't really know if it qualifies as a revolver or a semi-automatic because it's what they call a s auto revolver, and it is the Mateba Se Unica. Uh, Mateba means uh, Macchina Termobalistica, it's an Italian company. And um, first of all, let's be safe again. You'll see some of the differences right away. Let's open up the uh, the cylinder. See, it looks like a revolver because of the cylinder. So we'll pop it. And kind of uh, right off the bat, you notice that there's no crossbar, which is a neat look to this gun. Uh, the cylinder. Empty. Fantastic. Uh, this takes 44 magnums. I'm not a big fan of that round for a handgun. But uh, these uh, these Matebas are getting harder and harder to find. Okay, we'll pop that back into place. So, what makes this an auto revolver? Well, hopefully you guys can see this. Each time you fire around, it moves the slide back, rotates the cylinder, and cocks the hammer. Do that again. So essentially, only your first shot would ever really be double action. Everything else after that would have the pull of single action. So you'd fire, you'd move the slide back uh, during the recoil, uh, rotate the cylinder, cock the hammer, and so you'd have single action. Also, a neat thing. Let's pop this open one more time. You'll notice that the barrel lines up with the 6 o'clock position. And these other guns, we're firing out of the 12 o'clock position. Mateba decided to do this, in theory, to center the recoil around your wrist, your, your hand. So there's less muzzle flip, and also you can take the... Uh, the force from a 44 Magnum a little bit more. It's more cushioned along with your arm. Uh, not a big fan of actually shooting this. I've never even carried this. Um, first of all, finding a holster and a left-handed holster would probably be a, a monstrosity. Um, but it's it's very unique. Uh, the only other auto revolver I know of would be uh, the Webley Fosbury, which is what I believe Indiana Jones carries. And these are getting more and more uh, difficult to find since uh, the inventor of this uh, the system for the Mateba uh, died a few years back. So in terms of use, um, yeah, I carry this quite a bit. Um, I love this gun, uh, and it fits anywhere. If you want to just throw it in your pocket if you're going out with friends, you know, you can do that. They have great pocket holsters. Um, I like the DeSantis Nemesis for a pocket holster for this. Uh, and the, uh, the hammer's not too much of an issue. If you practice drawing with your uh, thumb over the hammer out of your pocket, no worries. Love this gun also. Uh, 357 is a little bit more expensive nowadays. I mean, you can shoot 38 specials at the range, so that's not a problem. Um, and this, if you're going to go out with your friends to the range and they're going to shoot your guns, make sure you have something like this along because you can shoot all day long, everybody's going to have fun, and you're not going to spend a lot of money. Mateba, 
sad to say, but uh, most of the time it sits on the shelf. I'm looking at it, just enjoying owning it, I guess. I don't fire it that much, because um, it's also a bear to, bear to clean. Well, there are some wheel guns. Um, I'll be posting some reviews, I guess, on some semi-automatics later on, or more wheel guns if, uh, if that's uh, what's desired. Uh, Y'all enjoy uh, the rest of your day and have some fun shooting.